Gordon was always boasting and telling the other engines how to behave. One day, he was showing off to Edward. You watch me this afternoon as I rush through with the express. That will be a splendid sight for you when you're shunting trucks. And before he puffed away, Gordon said, Don't play around with the trucks, Edward. It isn't robbery, just don't do it. Edward ignored Gordon. It was fun playing with the trucks. He came up quietly behind them and gave them a push. Then he stopped suddenly and the silly trucks bumped into each other. Ooh, they cried. Whatever is happening? Edward played until there was no more trucks to move. Then he stopped to rest. Suddenly, Edward heard a whistle. It was Gordon and he was cross. Instead of pulling nice shiny coaches, he was pulling lots of dirty coal trucks. A freight train, he grumbled. The shame of it. Gordon slowly went past with the trucks clattering behind him. Edward laughed and went to find more trucks. But soon, there was trouble. A porter came and spoke to Edward's driver. Gordon can't get up the hill, he said. Will you take Edward to push him, please? Edward found Gordon halfway up the hill. His driver was very cross with him. You are not trying, he shouted at Gordon. I can't do it, replied Gordon. The silly coal trucks are holding me back. Edward came up behind Gordon's brake van, ready to push. You'll be no use at all, huffed Gordon. You wait and see, replied Edward. The guard blew his whistle and Gordon tried to pull forward as Edward pushed him as hard as he could. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Puffed Gordon. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. Puffed Edward. Edward pushed and puffed with all his strength. And before long, Gordon was at the top of the hill. I've done it, he said proudly, forgetting all about Edward, pushing behind. And Gordon ran on to the next station without stopping to say thank you. But the fat controller didn't forget to thank Edward. The next day, he was given a beautiful coat of blue paint with red stripes.